Welcome back. Thank you so much for uh, joining me here on YouTube. Uh, we do these devotionals every day or every weekday, Monday through Friday at 4.30. Uh, thanks to everyone who joined us yesterday and everyone who is uh, watching along after it uh, premieres on YouTube. Uh, we're also posting on Instagram, so be sure to check out our Instagram account, at Chapel Cares, and uh, it'll be fun to see you over there too. Today we are reading through Romans chapter 14. Uh, Romans chapter 14 is really dealing with some pretty specific stuff, uh, really related to their culture and some weird things that they couldn't eat and couldn't eat. Uh, but right in the middle of all that really specific stuff, Paul talks about some stuff that really applies to everyone uh, from all different times and cultures and countries and languages. To get us ready for that, uh, I wanted to ask you uh, a, an HDR question. My friend Wes uh, told me about these. Uh, it's instead of high dynamic range like you see on your camera, HDR stands for a heavy, deep, and real. So we're going to dive right in here. Uh, what is your biggest fear? And so feel free to comment along or live chat along. Uh, you can be serious or silly. Uh, for me, on the serious side, I would say my biggest fear is having no purpose. Uh, you can say purposelessness. <laughs> and that is a word. In my script here, it doesn't have a red underline. So purposelessness uh, is a word, but it's hard to say. And some of you might have been thinking about some of these HDR questions like, what are my biggest fear? You see a lot of scary stuff in the news. And maybe you're thinking about life and death and the purpose of life and the meaning of life and all of these heavy, deep and real topics. And so Paul, in Romans chapter 14, verse 9, he cuts right to the issue. He says, if we live, we live for the Lord. Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. And for me, that's really meaningful because uh, that word for in there, uh, that's really talking about purpose. <laughs> Our life has purpose. Uh, we should be living for God. And even if like, we were to get the virus and die, like if we know God, uh, then we still have a purpose. <laughs> When we die, we are going to have a purpose in heaven still. Uh, and the Bible describes heaven just as real as it does our own existence right now. And so that verse really does help me think about my purpose, and that gives me hope and gives me peace. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is this thing called uh, the New City Catechism. If you are extra bored and really wanted to dive into it, but they have a really cool website and a really cool app. And what a catechism is, that's kind of an old clunky word, uh, but what it does is it has a question and then an answer. And the very first question of the New City Catechism, uh, you can actually see it, it's divided into three parts. So you click on the orange part and it has a lot of cool animations. It also has cool devotionals. Uh, it has some really cool songs and too that helps you remember these things. But the question that it asks is, uh, it's the first one. It, this is like they're diving right in here. What is our only hope in life and death? And the answer is this, that we are not our own, but belong body and soul, both in life and in death to God and to our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so that question and answer form helps me process things. It helps me remember things. Um, and the verse they actually chose is the verse for today in Romans chapter 14. Uh, because we know God, because we are living for God, and someday we will die for God. That gives us hope. That gives us purpose. In closing here, I would encourage you to think about that. Uh, think about ultimate purpose. The more sure we are about our purpose, the more hope we will have uh, in the midst of all this craziness. And maybe check out the New City Catechism. They have a great website and a great app. It's all free. Uh, the link will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. More importantly, though, uh, please be sure to be reading along with our Bible plan. Uh, the link will be in the description below as well. Uh, download the PDF, print it out. I wish I could read the Bible for you. I wish I could pray for you, um, as in pray so you don't have to. Um, I pray for you guys all the time, but uh, having a faith, having a relationship with God, that is ultimately up to you. And so uh, please use these tools. Please connect with God. Um, you will find purpose and you will find peace. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to check out our video uh, again tomorrow, Thursday at 4.30. Uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, every day here. I'll be praying for you. And until the next one, peace. Peace.